Welcome back to my lecture series. This is Muthuminal, Assistant Professor at the Department of Agricultural Engineering. Today we will see something about role of ozone in environment under the unit Earth's Climate System. For the subject, Climate Change and Adaptation for the students of final year 7 semester. Today, I like to clarify what is ozone and what does it do at the environment and how it impacts the agricultural fields. So ozone is nothing but a molecule which contains three atoms, atoms of oxygen. So this oxygen is a very rare in our atmosphere which is averaging about three molecules of ozone for every 10 million air molecules. It also plays a vital role in the atmosphere and also it helps us to protect our earth from much of the harmful UV radiation that comes from the earth. So this is how the ozone prevents the ultraviolet radiation that affects our human health by entering into our earth. So this ozone is found at two re regions of the earth's atmosphere. The most ozone resides in a layer that begins between 6 to 10 miles above the earth's surface and extends up to 30 miles. That is, it extends up to 50 kilometers. This region of atmosphere is usually denoted as stratosphere and this ozone is in this region is commonly known as ozone layer which is mainly found in the lower portion of the stratosphere. This is how it is available as I have shown in your GIF. So here I'd like to also say that the ozone is highly compresses of higher concentration of ozone relative to other parts of the atmosphere. This was discovered in 1913 by the French physicist Charles Fabre and Henry Boisson. This refers to a region of Earth's stratosphere which helps us to observe most of the UV radiation that has been emitted by the sun. So this is how it protects us. So every layer of ozone protects us from the UV radiation that happens to be available uh, due to the uh, sun's heat waves. So if it directly penetrates into the earth's surface without any infiltration, it will cause a serious effects to our environment and also it will cause serious effects to uh, human beings which will lead to uh, skin irritation, uh, eye radiations, uh, cataracts and even it can lead to a percentage of cancer which will be developed from the skin radiation. So this is how the ozone naturally prevents us from getting uh, uh, health defects. So if that ozone gets depleted, obviously the UV radiation that has been emitted by the sun will directly come to the atmosphere and it will directly reach us to the ground surface which will lead to a serious disaster. So this is what I have prepared for today's class. Uh, if there is any kind of doubt, you guys can ping me anytime. So see you at the next class. Thank you. Here, before closing off the session, I'd like to add certain thing. Why this kind of ozone is really important and how it is found. Actually, the Earth's atmosphere has been divided into several layers and each layer plays an important role. The first region extending about 10 km upwards from the Earth's surface is usually known as troposphere and also many human activities like mountain climbing, gas balloons and smaller aircrafts operate within this region. The next layer extending about 10 to 50 kilometers is called a stratosphere where the ozone layer's lower portion is found. Though the thickness varies seasonally and geographically, this is where the lower portion of the ozone layer is always available. Here, as you guys can see, uh, after the uh, lowest layer of uh, Earth's surface, that is, after the atmosphere has started at troposphere, it, there is a layer that has been developed as ozone, which is shown as green in color. And this ozone layer will be usually helpful for us to defend us from the ultraviolet rays that has been emitted by the sun. And this ultraviolet radiation 
usually being absorbed by the ozone layer so that it will help us to neutralize the harmful effect that will be possible if it is seriously um, uh, incident over us and also um, this ozone layer not only nullify them it just absorbs them it is allowing us to uh, infiltrate the harmful effect that is caused due to the ultraviolet rays and then it allows the remaining ultraviolet rays to pass down to the structure and that ozone uh, absorbed layer rays which reaches at, at the earth surface is lesser effective while compared to that of the ultraviolet rays that is uh, rawly emitted by the sun. So here I'd like to clarify that before going into the next section that's why I have continuously said that uh, this will happen if the ozone layer is available and here also I have mentioned that the thickness varies seasonally and geographically that means the thickness is usually varying due to the availability of the molecules when the ultraviolet rays passes through the ozone it has a capability to observe sometimes due to the effect of uv rays that molecule will get dispersed so if that's the case what happens due to that feature it gets a red, reduced thickness so this will make the ozone layer to get depleted naturally and ozone layer is also capable of regenerating itself for a period of time if that limit has been reached it will be uh, not capable of regenerating them so that is where we are most commonly keen in noticing the layer that is available as a thickness so to be abruptly saying the ozone layer has to be available with about 50 kilometers of thickness so that it would be helpful for us to infiltrate them okay thank you